Stay all laid up. You're now tuned into the show where you learn the discipline to show up day after day to do the work, the confidence to put yourself out there boldly and authentically, and the mental toughness to continue showing up, doing the work, putting yourself out there, even when the success you've expected to achieve has yet to be achieved. And on top of all this, you get a huge dose of personal initiative, which is the go-getter energy that moves any one of us, including yourself, to go and make things happen instead of waiting for things to happen. And then we put all this together into a series of frameworks, approaches, insights, strategies, and techniques all underneath the umbrella of one unifying philosophy that is called work on your game. My name is Dre Baldwin, also known as Dre All Day, and welcome to the show. And today's topic is you cannot get rich by freeloading. And you actually, you're not going to get much of anything by freeloading, let alone are you going to get yourself rich by freeloading. It doesn't even make sense. It's a, it's a misnomer, but I'm going to explain that as we get into the subject here today. But before we do that, let me tell everybody, I have a daily motivation text I send out for free to everyone who's in my text community. Message guaranteed to keep you focused, sharp, and on point. You want to get it, text me at my number, which is 305-384-6894. And every day when I send that message out, because you are in my text community, you will be receiving that message. And the other thing I want to want you to know is that my 30 days to discipline course, which within the next 30 days will teach you how to follow through on everything you start, stop leaving things half done and undone and build the trust in yourself to where when you tell yourself you're going to do something, you're going to get it done. It is available now to get started in 30 days of discipline. Go to work on your game.com slash 30 work on your game.com slash three zero thirty and get started in my 30 days of discipline course now getting into today's topic can't get rich by freeloading i mean these is basically the opposite this is if you're trying to bring if you're trying to bring uh, value and wealth into your life you can't get there by never offering any value or wealth into the world that's the thesis of today's episode there was this guy who had uh, sent me a text message and he had sent me actually more than one text message. He was in my text community and he had continually asked me stuff like, hey, do you have a, a podcast on this subject or a YouTube video on that subject? To the point that I regularly started to notice this person's name. They were continually asking for things like this. And they were asking about these specific topics when it related to their business. Because this person is trying to get better at generating revenue and money from the things that they offer to the world. And there was another person... So that happened, this person was always asking me for YouTube videos or podcast episodes on the subject, but at the same time, I knew that this person hadn't made any investments in themselves. In other words, they had not hired a coach, they weren't going to any events, they hadn't signed up for any courses, but they wanted to freeload their way towards this knowledge that they see that they need, and they do need, but they weren't willing to invest, but they wanted to get all the free stuff. And eventually, I just stopped going back and forth with this person and told them, well, you need to hire yourself a coach. You need to invest in yourself if you're serious about your business. And last I checked, this person hadn't done any of those things, so I'm not sure how serious they are. There was another situation that happened with a different person who I was doing an Instagram Live, and I was talking about uh, book publishing. And this person came on the live and they had a whole bunch of very detailed questions. They were good questions. I mean, the questions were not bad. Obviously, this person had thought deeply or at least somewhat deeply about the questions that they were asking. However, when it was offered to this person, listen, here's how you can invest in yourself to actually get answers to these questions. That person didn't want to do that. They were they were expecting that they were going to get things without having to pay for it. And I even told that person, listen, there's no one in the in the space in which you need help that is going to give you all these answers to all these questions and all the detail that you're asking for without charging you money. Nobody's gonna do that. And you can go find it. You can go out in the marketplace and find someone who will do it, then go ahead, get all the information from them. I doubt this person has found that information yet, and nor do I think this person has even completed the project that they were working on they had all these questions for. Because they had all these questions, clearly they had need more information, right? But they hadn't invested in themselves to get the thing done. There's another person who had reached out to me and they said they wanted to invest in themselves and they were looking for ways to invest in themselves. So I told them they need to find a coach. And this person responded by talking about, well, I have no older people in my life, my, like my uncles and things like that who can be my mentors, et cetera, et cetera. And I told them, um, I'm not talking about your uncle and I'm not talking about your cousin Ray Ray around the corner. I'm talking about you actually paying money to a professional whose job is to help you take your game, whatever it is, to the next level. You have to invest in yourself. I'm not talking about mentoring, I'm talking about coaching. There was somebody, who was I talking to the other day? I can't remember who it was, but it was someone who was uh, talking to me, I think it was in a, a training that I was doing, and they were asking, uh, do you 
could I offer mentorship in the thing that I'm doing? And I said to them, don't call it mentorship, call it coaching. Because when someone asks for a mentor, usually that means somebody who is just giving them information every now and then, but it's kind of an informal relationship. A coach is when you are paying a person and they are specifically there to professionally help you get from point A to point B. That's what a coach is. And you understand when you say coach that there's a financial investment being made. Mentoring might just be somebody who's somebody who you know, you talk to them whenever you talk to them, they give you information, but you're not paying for it. Forget the mentoring thing. All you out there searching for mentors, you need to hire yourself a coach. Hire a coach. Don't get a mentor. Hire a coach. Investing in yourself. And that's the whole point here today is that you can't get rich by freeloading. Point number one. Here's the truth. All the knowledge that you need in order to create your success in life is for the most part, let's say, I shouldn't even say all, let's say 98% of it, the knowledge that you need to be successful in life is freely available on the internet. So I'm gonna change my all to 98% in my notes here. 98% of the knowledge you need is freely available on the internet. Yes, this is true. Now let me give you another truth that will, because some of you might be very relieved to hear that because you are not, you're not of the mind to invest in yourself. So you hearing me say 98% of it is freely available on the internet might be a, great thing for you to hear but wait let me hear the whole thing let me tell you the rest of it that was only half of the statement here's the other half there's too much information out there for you to sift through it all and find the right information for your particular situation by the time you find all the right information and test all the information to decide what's right and what's not all right 30 years going to have gone by and your opportunity will be gone And I'm leaving this space in here because I want that thought to think in. I want that thought to sink in for you. And I want you to think deeply about that. The information is out there, but you have no idea which information to go for. You have no idea which information is the stuff you need and which information is the stuff you don't need. This is why you invest in yourself. Not only because you're going to get specific help for specific things, also because someone has the insight to know which information you need to find. Because many of you, your challenge is not that you don't have information. It's a challenge of you don't know which information you need. Uh, you don't even know what you don't know. All right? Your ignorance is your biggest problem. And this is why you get with people who are at a higher level than you because they can solve your ignorance issues. But until you are willing to invest in dealing with these people, you won't be able to deal with them. You have to try to figure out everything on your own. But because of your ignorance, you don't even know what to look for. So no matter what you find, you don't even know it's the right thing. This is the problem. See, the problem is not that the information is not out there. The problem is you don't know where to get it and you don't know which information you need. Even if you came across the right information, you don't know is the right information because how would you know? You have no information. Your ignorance is your biggest problem. Again, this is why you invest in solving your ignorance issues. You invest in solving ignorance. You don't just keep living in it and hoping that it resolves itself. That doesn't work. You've been trying that already, haven't you? I mean, if I got something wrong, let me know. This is why you invest in yourself, people. This the internet, what it does is it provides general information because there's a lot of information out there. So all of it's general for the most part. What you pay for is specificity, meaning someone who can specifically help you with a specific issue because they have domain knowledge in that space. I've seen multiple people do things like, as an example, try to build a website by watching YouTube videos and watching the tutorials and they go build the website off the tutorial. And every entrepreneur I know who's tried to build their own website or their own sales page or their own logo or design their own graphics by watching tutorial videos, their designs look exactly like what you would expect them to look like. They look like shit. They are trash. And I, and there's a bunch of entrepreneurs who are listening to me right now who've heard me say this directly to you. You are not allowed to design any more graphics or websites or logos. And if you know that I'm talking about you, understand, yes, I am talking about you. I'm talking about about 30 other people as well as you, because you are not the only one. So you shouldn't feel actually that bad because a bunch of people who are in your line of work had the exact same problem that you had past tense because you listened to me, right? And you stopped designing stuff, right? Good. Now, there are a lot of people out here trying to do things on their own in areas in which you have no skill and you are making yourself look bad. All right, stop doing this. Good thing about the internet these days is that there are a lot of things that once you know that you have an area of need, there are places where you can go for a relatively low cost and get these problems solved. But you gotta be willing to invest in yourself. 
I've told people, more people than I should have to, that you need to hire yourself some help. I've told people this. I've told athletes you need to hire help. I've told entrepreneurs you need to hire help. I've told business professionals you need to hire help. I've told people who are trying to get in shape, you need to hire help. And it's not necessarily need to hire me because I don't even offer services in all of these spaces. But I told them you need to go find somebody, pay them money who's gonna help you solve your problem. Or you're gonna keep having the same problem because clearly you are unqualified to solve it yourself. Because if you were qualified to solve it, you wouldn't have a problem. I mean, again, if I got anything wrong here, somebody let me know. Send me a text. What you pay for, folks, is insight, specifics, and for someone who can tell you what the right questions are, not someone who can give you all the answers. See, when you have the right questions, the answers become very easy to identify. The person that you hire is not hired because they have all the answers. They do have answers, but what is more important in what they offer is that they offer you to understand what are the right questions. This is what insight is about. I talked about this in episode 1177. The era of do-it-yourself production is coming to a close, folks. This is the collaboration era. I just told you about this a few days ago. You can collaborate with some software to get something done. You can collaborate with Fiverr.com or Upwork.com to hire someone on a for a relatively cheap who can do a design job or edit something or format something for you that you are unqualified to do because you don't know what the hell you're doing. I mean, simple as that. If you don't have the eye or the innate skill for doing something yourself, and many of us, actually all of us, there are certain areas in life in which we do not have this, and you need to be honest with yourself about what areas these are, then you need to hire someone else to help you. All right, collaborate with them. It is relatively cheap for you to do this. This is the good news. It's relatively cheap because of the rapid advancement of technology. So it's easy for you to go hire somebody for $15. Now, I see, see some people designing their own websites and designing their own graphics and book covers and logos and they look fucking terrible. But I mean, look, you could go on Fiverr and hire somebody for $10 who can make a logo that's 10 times better than yours. There's a coaching program that I'm in as a member and this guy who I do not know, he posted a comment and let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can pull it up on my phone while I'm talking to you all right now so I can explain to you just how, because this what he showed was... It was very bad, it was terrible. Let me see if I can find it so I can describe the situation a little bit better than just going off of memory. But it was a, I don't know if I'll be able to find it while I'm talking to you all. But this guy, let me see if I can find it. Uh, what is this called? I'm trying to remember the name of the program. All right, here it is. Let me see if I can find this guy's post. Okay, so this guy said, okay, here's what he said. I'm working on the cover for a, he was making like a, a guide, like a, a book type thing that he was making. And actually there's more than one person who I've talked to about this issue. So if you think I'm talking about you, I'm not. But this is a person, I do not know this guy who did this, but I've had this conversation with many people. I'm working on the cover for this guy that I'm making and he tagged somebody else who's in the group, not me. He said, I molded my cover after what this other person did. And he just wanted to know what other people think. And then he said, thanks in advance for any feedback. And this thing looks like somebody made it in like 1997. This looks absolutely terrible. And this guy's a business owner. And I came in, now somebody else left a comment. I came in and left a comment and said, I told, him he needed to, I told him he needed to tighten up his title. I gave him some examples of ways he can make his titling better. In other words, his copywriting skills are lacking. They are still lacking and he needs to get somebody who can help him with copy because he does not know what he's doing. I'm sure he's great at his thing, the main thing that he offers, but this part, he ain't good at. And I also said to him, here's, here's my exact quote. I'm gonna read exactly what I said in the comment. Quote, this is me talking. And something I tell all entrepreneurs when I see a first draft like this one, Cohen, go to Fiverr and hire a designer. Someone you hire at $25 to $50 is 15 times better than you. That is exactly what I said to this person because this guy clearly should not be doing anything, anything, anything. He shouldn't become within 50 feet of graphic design. He's kind of like a, he shouldn't become within 50 feet of graphic design like a pedophile is not allowed within 500 feet of a school. All right, this is how bad this thing was. And, and he ain't the only one. There's a whole bunch of people who are doing this in your own life and you are trying to make yourself the person or you have made yourself the person in something in which you have absolutely no skill and you are shooting yourself in the foot because it's making you look bad to your business. Point number two. Today's topic, once again, is you cannot get rich by freeloading. Number two, the law of the universe is karma. I'm yet to be the person who doesn't agree with the law of karma. We all agree on it. If you have a hard time partying with your money, or you magically find a way to never have money when it's time for you to invest in yourself financially, guess what happens? 
since we agree on the law of karma, I shouldn't have to explain this. What happens if you don't ever want to invest in yourself? What does the law of karma do in exchange? It means that your customers or your prospects, since they never actually become customers, so they won't buy from you. They're going to have a hard time parting with their money or they will always find a way to not have money when it's time for you to make a sales offer. Since you don't spend money, they won't spend money. If you have a hard time investing in yourself when it comes to your business or your life or your health or your fitness or your whatever, the same people who you want to get the same places in which you want to get a result that you're unwilling to invest, no one's going to invest in you. As simple as that. Your prospects won't invest in buying from you if you can't even invest in building yourself up to something that is worth buying from. If you can't buy, you cannot sell. I want that one to sink in. This is the law of karma that I've yet to meet a person who said they do not agree with the law of karma. Everyone agrees that the energy you put out is the energy you get back. Is there anyone listening to me who does not agree with the law of karma? If so, put it in the comments, send me a text, send me an email that you don't agree with the law of karma and explain to me why. I've yet to meet a person who said they don't agree. So, if my logic is incorrect here, you can let me know about this too. If you are unwilling to part with your money and you are a salesperson, then the people who you sell to will be unwilling to part with their money. Since you are tight with yours, they're going to be tight with theirs. If you cannot buy, you cannot sell. Everybody follow me. Good. Point number three. Today's topic, once again, is you cannot get rich by freeloading. Number three, if you're not putting any money into building your business, your life, your fitness, your relationships, your health, your skills, your whatever, whatever it is you're trying to get better at, if you're not willing to put money into it, it will be obvious and people will be able to tell. All right, can you tell when someone's not putting any money or time or energy or focus or attention into their fitness? Can you tell when they walk by? Yeah, you can tell, right? How can you tell? Okay. All right, we only had to talk about it, do we? You can tell when someone's not doing that. When someone hasn't put money into their graphic design, can you tell by looking at their graphics? Yes, you can, because their graphics look like shit. Can you tell when they look at their website, when you look at their logo, when you look at their... I know many of you probably don't know much about sales copy, but as we're all buyers, we're all customers, we're consumers. So when you go to somebody's website and it just looks like it's very amateur, it looks like it was made by an amateur, Are you? do you want to buy from that person? Probably not. And again, something being amateur doesn't mean basic that's not what i mean because sometimes the best professionals make the most basic looking stuff so i'm not saying it has to have all these bells and whistles and look like it was you no know, designed by some uh big uh firm i'm talking about amateur in terms of the way it was designed it looked like it was designed by somebody who shouldn't be doing any designing and there are a bunch of you entrepreneurs out there listening to me right now i'm talking about you yes i'm looking at you yes you need to look at your own website look at your graphics look at your logos look at your books look at your covers look at your designs and ask yourself does this look like somebody who actually gets paid to design things did this here's a question for you would anybody ever hire you to do graphic design the answer is no that you shouldn't be hiring yourself to do graphic design again law of karma does it just make sense folks i try to i try to explain things here in a way that makes sense but if i'm going over somebody's head you can let me know so if you're not putting money into the thing you want to be good at, it's going to be obvious. People can tell. And here's how you know that you're not doing it. Look at the type of people you're attracting into your world. Are you attracting people into your world who invest in themselves? If the answer is yes, that means that's because you're investing in yourself. If you're not attracting those people into your world, there's a reason for that too. You're, attra you're going to attract the same type of people. You're going to attract people who are like you. And that's why you're having trouble getting what you want because you're not willing to do what it takes to get it. And neither are the people who are coming around you. Definition of invest is to expend money with the expectation of achieving a profit or material result by putting it into financial plans, shares, or property, or by using it to develop a commercial venture. That's the definition of investing. The investment happens first. The return comes second. This is the accurate formula of how to invest in yourself. If you are operating by a formula in an inaccurate way, that's why the formula is not working for you. Many of you think you are investing in yourself when you're not. I'm talking about financially investing, not watching a bunch of YouTube videos and listening to a bunch of podcasts. And you're listening to a podcast right now. This is a masterclass, but you get what I'm saying. You got to be willing to invest in yourself. Your host, I invest in myself. I put money into these things that I want to be better at. That's how I got good at them. Not because I'm just naturally talented, not because I watched the, a YouTube video that you didn't see yet. No, it's because I put the time in, I put the attention, the focus, the energy, and I put the money in because I'm in business. And if I want people to part with their money when they're dealing with me, I gotta part with my money when I'm dealing with others. Again, nobody disagrees with the law of karma. Let's recap today's class, which says you can't get rich by freeloading. 
I've had many people reach out to me, especially people in the entrepreneurial space who want to get better at the thing that they're doing, but they're unwilling to invest in themselves. And this is why they keep going in this cycle of mediocrity. Number one, 98% of the knowledge you need is freely available on the internet, but there is too much of it for you to sift through and find the right information. And even if you found the right information, you wouldn't know it's the right information because of your own ignorance. You don't know what you don't know. This is why you hire people who can help you solve the problems that you are unqualified to solve yourself. Number two, of all the universe is karma, which everyone agrees with. So if you have a hard time parting with your money, people will have a hard time parting with their money when it comes to anything that you are selling. And number three, if you're not putting any money into your business, it will be obvious you're not putting money into it and people can tell and you'll be able to tell as well because you'll, you won't be getting any money out of your business because you're not putting any money into it because again, you agree with the law of karma. Remember the definition of investing is to expend money with the expectation of achieving a profit or material result by putting it into financial plans, shares, or property, or by using it to develop a commercial venture. You invest up front, the return comes second in that order. If you are operating by an inaccurate form, and that's the reason why you're getting inaccurate and inadequate results. Text me to get my daily motivation free of charge straight to your phone. My number is 305-384-6894. And start my 30 days of discipline course by going to workonyourgame.com slash 30. That's three zero, like Steph Curry's number. Workonyourgame.com slash 30. Start my 30 days of discipline course. And let's get disciplined about taking your business where it needs to go. Work on your game. Dre, all.